and even serve some lawyers that don't task the nation judicial officers to adopt the use of online courts for the continued dispensation of justice. And the Empress say Yan say suspend for court activities for the light of the coronavirus pandemic, so you know the yarn well for the nation justice system. Our correspondent Idong Joseph get this report. Following the lockdown by the federal government, activities in the last five weeks have been on hold. The judicial sector, a fundamental part of the nation's justice system, also followed queue as activities within courtrooms were temporarily suspended. This, however, has shattered the hopes of many as they have to wait for the end of the pandemic, which is ravaging the whole world. Some legal practitioners think the judicial system is also a victim of the pandemic. The judiciary, just like every other organ of government, is affected by the lockdown. Certainly cases have to be delayed until such a time when it is safe enough for lawyers, including learned magistrates and honorable justices, to hear cases before them. The lockdown, uh, unfortunately, has taken uh, precedence over the adjudication of justice and the dispensation of justice. So it has adversely affected the dispensation of justice. They think the way forward is using creativity to surpass the current challenges. One workable method is the introduction of an online court. The world is gradually moving from uh, sitting in one particular location to have your cases heard, which comes with a lot of price and disadvantages. Imagine I'm in FCT and someone files a suit against me in Lagos State. I am compelled to move from FCT to Lagos State to be heard. The amount of time a lawyer would have to spend in advocating his case in an open courtroom may certainly not be the same amount of time that the Honorable Judge may give to him to make his case on a Zoom application. But that brings out the quality of your advocacy skills, the ability to make your case within the allotted time. So in truth, technology should be embraced. Some of them note that there might be challenges in the application of online courts in the country, but think the process is achievable, especially in a developing country like Nigeria, with challenges of poor power supply and low internet penetration in rural communities. Yes, it is required for us to move there, but it is a gradual process. You can't just start overnight because you have problems with even internet. You are not the internet subscription uh, provider. Uh, whichever internet you use today, what if it's buffering in the course of trial? It certainly will be ready. I don't think that the parameters were ready for it yet, except the right environment is set or put in place, and uh, the right legislations are also uh, put in place before we can move to that point. If you are going to court, virtually I mean, to make the case of your client, you want to get enough data, so your data does not run out while making your case. But of course, you know, that would also mean more money coming from the clients. So these are the challenges that would arise. And even though these challenges will arise, serious litigants will still look for a way to make sure they give their lawyers adequate support to take care of these challenges. They urge Nigerians to throw their weight behind the judiciary as getting justice delayed in the light of the pandemic is not justice denied. Idong Joseph, Plus TV, Africa.